reelected, you would, quote, have every right to go after, unquote, your political opponents. You just talked about members of the select committee on January 6th going to jail. Your main political opponent is standing on stage with you tonight. Can you clarify exactly what it means about you feeling you have every right to go after your political opponents? Well, I said my retribution is going to be success. We're going to make this country successful again, because right now it's a failing nation. My retribution is going to be success. But when he talks about a convicted felon, his son is a convicted felon at a very high level. His son is convicted, going to be convicted probably numerous other times. Should have been convicted before, but his Justice Department let the statute of limitations lapse on the most important things. But he could be a convicted felon as soon as he gets out of office. Joe could be a convicted felon with all of the things that he's done. He's done horrible things. All of the death caused at the, the border, uh, telling the Ukrainian people that we're going to want a billion dollars or you change the prosecutor, otherwise you're not getting a billion dollars. If I ever said that, that's quid pro quo, that we're not going to do anything. We're not going to give you a billion dollars unless you change your prosecutor having to do with the son. This man is a criminal. This man, you're lucky. You're lucky. I did nothing wrong. We'd have a system that was rigged and disgusting. I did nothing wrong. Thank you, President Trump. President Biden, you have said, I'm coming right to you, sir. You, well, you want to respond? Go ahead. I'll give you a minute to respond. The idea that I did anything wrong relative to what you're talking about is outrageous. It's simply a lie, number one. Number two, the idea that you have a right to seek retribution against any American just because you're president is wrong. It's simply wrong. No president's ever spoken like that before. No president in our history has spoken like that before. Number three, the crimes that you are still charged with, and think of all the civil penalties you have. How many? Billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for, for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant. I mean, what, what, what are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. Give me a minute, sir. I didn't have sex with a porn star, number one. Number two, that was a case that was started and moved. They moved a high-ranking official, a DOJ, into the Manhattan DA's office to start that case. That case is going to be appealed and won. We had a very uh, terrible judge, a horrible judge, Democrat. The prosecutor were all high-ranking Democrats, appointed people, and the, both the civil and the criminal. He basically went after his political opponent because he thought it was going to damage me. But when the public found out about these cases, because they understand it better than he does, he has no idea what these cases are. But when, he, the, when they found out about these cases, you know what they did? My poll numbers went up way up. You know that because you're reporting it. And we took in more money in the last two weeks than we've ever taken in in the history of, of any campaign. I don't think any campaign has ever taken. Hundreds of millions of dollars came pouring in because the public knows it's a scam and it's a guy that's after his political opponent because he can't win fair and square. Thank you, President Trump. President Biden, you have said, quote,